I, I love the premise of the show. Smart people talking about dumb shit. I think it's dumb people talking about, about smart, smart shit. Oh, we go where we not supposed to go, baby. The Brilliant Idiots Podcast. Yep, Charlemagne the God. Andrew Schultz. We are the Brilliant Idiots Podcast. Today's episode is brought to you by Squarespace. Mm. From websites to online stores, the marketing tools and analytics, Squarespace is the all-in-one platform to build a beautiful online presence and run your business. There are no hidden fees or price hikes, and all websites are optimized for mobile. And it's so simple. Start with a design template and use drag and drop tools to make it your own. Head to squarespace.com slash idiot for a free trial. And when you're ready to launch, use the offer code idiot to save 10% off your first purchase. Now let's start the show. Uh, Tramp Lactus is here. Yo. Doodoo Herm. Big Wax. The champ is here. Let's go, baby. Let me tell you something, man. Everybody that came to Radio City Music Hall this past weekend, yes. y'all saw what a lot of people have been seeing all over the country for the past few years. Y'all saw the reigning king of stand-up comedy. Mm. I'll argue with anybody. I'll debate anybody. I'll dispute anybody. Andrew Schultz, your, your place is solidified right now. That was so cool. <laughs> what do you that mean? So cool. <laughs> what do you mean? Your place is solidified right now. You know why I love shit like this? I love shit like this because, you know, random conversations I'll be talking, right? And you know how you, we'll, we'll drop references. Well, you know, you when you do music, you'll say Drake, you know, you'll say Kendrick, you know. When I do comedy, I'll be like, I'll say Chris Rock, I'll say Chappelle, I'll say yeah. Andrew Schultz, you know what I'm saying? Because you always want to, mm-hmm. I'm from an era where you, 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 you compliment the OGs. Of course. So you say Jay-Z. You know, Scarface, then you'd be like, Kendrick or Kendrick. whoever yeah. the new person yeah. is, right? I do the same thing. I say Andrew Schultz. I always see y'all in the comments. This guy said Andrew Schultz. <laughs> <laughs> this, this guy said Andrew Schultz. And I think it's one thing when people see you all over the country doing it. They're like, okay, that's cute. You know? But when you sell out a storied venue like Radio City Music Hall. That was crazy. It's something different, man. No, it was crazy. It's a different stamp. That was crazy. I even I'm I'm looking at the comments on Instagram. People looking at the pictures. I'm seeing other comedians going, "Wow." Yeah, yeah, yeah. Which yeah. translates to me like, I knew, but I didn't quite know. Mm. You know, I thought it was just Instagram. I thought it was just YouTube. YouTube yeah. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Two shows, Radio City Music Hall. How do you feel? I mean, it was awesome. Yeah, it felt amazing. I'm like still processing. I was texting you the other day. I'm just like. Yeah, it's, you know, your whole, it's like my whole life's work mm. for that moment. Yeah. yeah. And I was coming up in that little elevator thing behind the stage. And I remember like, it was just, it was like what you see in a movie, those montages. I understand now why they put those in movies. When they come up. <laughs> yeah. You know, <laughs> and the first thing you said, you was like, everybody needs to try that at least. Yeah. Yo, it is right. crazy, <laughs> bro. Like <laughs> your whole life you're watching, go, you know, it, yeah. it, like every, literally every show I did, every person I begged to come to a show on the street, like every time I bombed, everything is just like flashing in and out. Like, you know, my parents telling me to go after it, right. you know, like people telling me not to, like all these things are fucking happening. And then your head lifts over the stage. And then I guess for the, what I'm describing, I was able to like come up under this contraption mm-hmm. so you're below the stage. And my head lifts to the other stage, and then you just look out. You see these people like standing up, going crazy, and it's just all that goes away. Yeah. And I and I've been like preparing what I was going to open with, like the whole week. And I was like, I just want to make sure the opening goes well. Mm-hmm. And you guys weren't at the first show, no. but this is the first show. I'm going up, and I'm like, okay, I got the opening. I just need to get that down. I need to be good. And I walk up, and there's an Asian girl with a fucking like piece of paper that has something written on it, and what she's holding say? it. She said, uh, uh, "Roast me. It's my birthday." <laughs> and, and, and so so I could go with what I want to say yeah. or I could acknowledge, yes. uh, yeah. you know, yeah. this thing that's happening in yeah. the moment. And it was almost like it was like some divine interventionship because like these things that have happened in the moment have really helped propel my yeah. career. And like yeah. I, it was like I didn't even think about it. And I was like, look at the Chinese telling us what to do already. And like I just <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm and I just fucking went with it. And it was like. Oh, it was so fucking cool, man. Yeah, it was so I got a little emotional. It was cool. I really I, got a roast show, bro. Like, it was cool. The whole time un- we kept saying, like, yo. That's one of the most impressive parts. They're really going to fuck this dude up one day. <laughs> I'm not, <what> <laughs> sure. no, not going like, to lie. Yo, the whole time I kept up, thinking, bro. I was like, I don't want him to be Will Smith. I don't want him to be Chris Rock. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> meaning, meaning, meaning I don't want him to blow. 
the biggest yes. night of his career, yes. Yes. and I don't want him to get attacked. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I'm sitting there like I'm like I'm just like yo. I'm, I'm I kept I'm watching him, and I'm like I'm like yo. Schultz is going in, and he's going <laughs> in. Man. He's going into where we're looking around like holy shit. <laughs> you know Did he got just that, say right? that? Somebody and got I'm, really pissed off. Too. Oh, and I got to piss off a few people, you know. But see, I'm processing it like this. This I love. This is why I love Schultz's comedy because I'm processing it like, all right, is this edgy? Because of the time that we're in? Right, right. Or is this edgy because it's edgy? Yeah, yeah. And then here he goes with the goddamn Mexican joke that I'm not going to say. <laughs> <laughs> I say it's edgy. And, it kept, and it kept going. It was like, it was like, okay, boom, one hit, then one hit, one hit, and then you turn them over. And that's why I'm like, holy shit. Holy it's fucking shit. It's over the edge. Shit. It's not even edge. It's, this is like completely <laughs> over the edge, bro. This is oh, off the edge. You floating. Yeah, yeah, you done jumped off the edge and you're just floating on the cliff. You dancing in the air. I'm like, this motherfucker. I wish I could have seen your face when I said the line. What was what, <laughs> what that? We I'm just looking at each other like, I'm like, oh, I'm like, and people I'm like, kept standing up, so I don't know if that's somebody standing to go get some a pizza or they about to come fuck you up. They gonna get a piece of me. No, but Nyla said it the best. Nyla was like, everybody was laughing. Yeah, and yeah. we were laughing with each other. Yeah. and not at each other. Yes, it takes a special kind of skill set to tell those kind of jokes. Yeah. And have everybody in the room laughing. I only yeah. saw one person walked out. Yeah. And she was and a lesbian. Friend, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Her, 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 her girlfriend did not want to leave. Her girlfriend stayed for an extra three, four minutes. Yeah, and then yeah, I saw yeah. her look at her phone. <laughs> she, was, and she, she, she got that she text. Out of like, there. if you want your pussy ate later tonight, you better get the fuck <laughs> up out of here nah. right now. Okay? <laughs> but nah, man. Duval hit me this morning. He sent me a picture. He sent me a picture. He said, I cried when I saw this. Oh, he sent me that. I said, I'm still in my feelings. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Straight yeah, up. Yeah, yeah, I said, yeah, you had to so. be there, man. That shit was like, it's just unreal. Like, yeah. what, 12,000 people? Yeah, man. Two shows. Yeah, man. And fucking, if you ever thought Andrew was Illuminati, it was confirmed. Because <laughs> 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 Bill fucking <laughs> Gates came to Big the Bill. first Show, yes, the Bill Gates that's buying all the farmland in America. The Bill Gates that y'all think may or may not have created coronavirus with the Chinese. You, <laughs> like, yo, you want to know some wild shit? What? In, in the special that uh, Alex and I did together, uh, what, it was... Uh, not views before that. Views from the CIS. No, it was, it was views from the CIS. I have a joke where it was about like the whole Me Too movement. And I was like, I was like, listen, if a billionaire grabbed my dick, like, uh, uh, no, I was like, if Bill Gates, no, it was something like, ladies, you get upset. You you know, you're getting, I forget what the fucking joke is, but I said something about like billionaires groping me. Yeah. And I was like, cause I was like, Bill Gates grabbed my dick. I'd grab his wrist and hold it there. Right. And then I go, I'll show you Microsoft. <laughs> right. <laughs> <laughs> right, <laughs> right. So I had that joke that has existed and that millions of views. Wow. So he's in the audience, yeah, and there's yes. a little part of me like, am I about to? You should have. Am I about to ask him? Is that why he's here? Yeah, you right came now? here to grab this dick. Huh? You know I'm <laughs> saying I it's available to I you. I think you like stand up. I did because you know I, that blew. First of all, it blew my mind, so I had to go do some research. Yeah. I was looking it up all weekend. Yeah, they have a video online with Bill Gates watching a Chris Rock. I don't so know he got good special. taste. Yeah, he I don't got know if it was a taste. special. Mm, it was something with yeah. Chris Rock going in on Bill Gates, and he was watching it and laughing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So yeah. he enjoyed it. And from what I was told, he laughed at some really he, he laughed offensive at some jokes. wild shit. Yeah, yeah, hey, yeah. Hey man, yeah. funny is funny. Funny's funny. Funny's funny, even when it's just, even when it may be. A, and I don't even know if it's offensive. I don't think it's offensive. No, well, that's I, you know sometimes I say it at the end of the show, but I don't like to be too overhand with stuff. But like everybody that comes to to our show comes because they want to be made fun of. Like, if I don't make fun of a group, afterwards, they'll come up to me yeah, and be like, yo, like, you, you've got where the Jewish us? jokes? Where the lesbian jokes? Like, yeah. like, they want it. So, yeah. we've created this environment amongst all this, like, political correctness and woe shit where people come to laugh at one another and it's mm-hmm. good. Mm-hmm. Like, ev- if you look at the audience, it's wild diverse. Mm-hmm. You know, so it's like, mm-hmm everybody's there to be laughed at. And it, it feels to me kind of like how I grew up in the city where we just had a bunch of different people. We all bust each other's balls, but it was love. But if anybody outside the group started clowning on one of our friends and it's like, yeah, who the fuck you talking yeah, to, right? Yeah, but yeah, like, yeah, yeah. that's my Indian friend I make fun yeah. of. Yeah. You Hope don't get to make fun of yeah. me, you know? Yeah. But yeah, so that's that was the environment we wanted to create. The next person to get cracked on. That's yeah. all, and everybody yeah. got it. And, 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 and from, from Mark to 
a cost. Oh, they killed it. Yeah, they Derek, killed it. Hilarious. Mark, I mean, I told you before, Mark is a star. But he's Mark brilliant. is hilarious. Yeah, he's brilliant. Akash had a great, that, that, uh, Akash had some really good. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> the, the wage gap, the wage gap thing. Oh, oh that was it. phenomenal. Yeah, yeah, that yeah, was phenomenal. Yeah, 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 I like yeah. the other one too, the catching game. Uh, uh, yeah. Oh, yeah, we don't want to give it away. We yeah, don't want to give it away. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> no, man, it was and really Derek, good. And Derek, too. Derek is a, Derek's got the hardest job, man, because going up while people are sitting down, like, yeah. what I do with, with my shows is, like, I don't let, I basically hold the show a little bit. Well, yeah. I don't want to tell people so that don't ever come late to the show, but I want the host to get a real opportunity to perform. A lot of times when you go to shows, you'll see the hosts up there. Motherfuckers are still sitting down. The room is half full. Yeah. You're basically an usher. Yeah. But the show starts when you enter the venue. For me, like, so I want you seated for the whole thing because I think all of them are brilliant. Like, yeah, nah, it was all funny. Nah, yeah. it was amazing, man. I was really inspired. And it really, it got me to thinking, like, it got me to thinking how, how everything went too far. Meaning, like, Duvall always had this line where Duvall was like, if you're not laughing at life, you're missing the point. The point. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And it's really true. Like, we all take all of this stuff too serious. Yeah. Because like, nobody's, Nobody's inherently evil, right? Like, none of us are are trying to offend right. people. None right. of us are, like, intentionally trying to piss folks off. Of course, you got people you out there it, in this world do that do it. Right. But most of the people y'all attack aren't doing that. Yeah. You know and, what I'm saying? Yeah. And sometimes we go too far and we regret it, too. Like, you can make a joke that's too far and be like, ah, fuck. Yeah, that was a little crazy. Yeah, you was. Yeah. yeah. A couple of them I said that. that you can slap box with your friend and then slap a little too hard. That's and then it. be like, yo, yeah. my bad. Yeah. Fuck. I, I went yeah. too crazy That's right there. It. That's Great it. Analogy, yeah. I, I, I blame I blame the last two presidents. Mm. You know, I mean, let's say you. I blame Obama and I blame Trump. Like, the, Ooh, what's Ob that? Give me that. That's Obama and Trump created extremes. Not saying those extremes didn't always exist. They did. Mm -hmm. But then they started to go into every sector of life. And, I, and maybe it's social media as well. Maybe being at social media, there was this, all of a sudden there was this divide. Because there was a time on social media where all of us were like a comedy show. Yeah, it was, Twitter was crazy. It was all fun Definitely and games. It was crazy. It was literally, it was like the way your comedy show was <laughs> Saturday night, that's how was Twitter. social media was. Yeah. And maybe we just weren't paying attention to the people who were offended. Maybe we were louder than all of them, mm. you know? But maybe we, people accepted it was jokes. Maybe people accepted it as jokes. Yeah, to the, to the, to the, to the person. I mean, you look back to old Def oh. Comedy Jam shit. It oh, was, come on, man. And yeah. there's a clip I posted recently of Martin. Do you see the one of Martin? Yes. The, Martin's talking to the dude who dated MC Light. Yes. Yeah. Bruh. Played, yes. Killing them. Bruh. And he's like, I used to fuck her. <laughs> he goes, I used to fuck her. And he goes, he's talking about MC Light, right? And he's talking <laughs> to the dude who's fucking her. He goes, he goes, I used to fuck her. And everybody loses their mind. He goes, let me tell you something. There's some light at the end of that tunnel. You know <laughs> they, they just left. You know how when black people laugh, they move, right? They yeah. just walked out the fucking venue, bro. It was amazing. I think I think Obama made a divide because mm. of his skin color. Because if you was if it was about his policies, yo, his policies was down straight down the middle. Like I, that's that's that was the only pushback I was gonna give you about Obama. I was like, like if Obama if Obama's not black. Obviously, conservatives are going to be upset about whoever the Democrat is and then mm -hmm. vice versa, you know, with Democrats and the Republican. But like policy wise, pretty moderate. Down the middle. He didn't even he wasn't even with gay marriages for a I know. Okay. <laughs> like, if he ran now with his first policy. Oh, my God. Y'all yeah, be canceling. Hey, look at this Nazi. <laughs> right? Like, you know, real talk. That's real. But I think he he divided people with his race. Right. Mm. Like, that was the extreme. And then Trump came along and he divided everybody with everything. You know what I'm saying? Mm. People wanted him because they were like, yo, they agree with him on a lot of different things. But then they, his rhetoric is what made everybody be like, oh, hell no, which was a very great point that you made at the show. You know what control. I'm saying? <laughs> it, was just a very, it, was just a, it was just a very great point. I, I don't want to tell the joke, but it was great. The T Rex shit. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> it's, it's fucking true, man. I like. I didn't even know that. Clip and I, I was, out. It was like yo, like like you said, it was the sound. Like he did shit we haven't seen in a long time. And I literally <laughs> told somebody this last night. I was having dinner. I said, yo, man. I said, do you realize that the only reason cancel culture became what it was was because people couldn't cancel Trump. So they started hanging <laughs> at all the low hanging fruit. Say, yo. That's, That's what they did. They started hanging. They started going at all the whole. The I'm gonna go with fruit. the supporters because I yeah. can't do anything to yes. that. Guy. Can't do he's nothing. he's independently wealthy. Even if he's not president, he goes back to all this money. Yes. Yeah. He's and married. He got kids. He got right. everything that he needs. You can't take nothing away from him. That's right. 
And he, oh, and he, wow. he took Jail, it. A, leave him alone. That's right. And he took it a step further by talking to me about, he told me about this story about Senator Tim Cotton or Tom Cotton, whatever it is. And how he, he wrote this op-ed in the, the uh, I think it was the New York Times. I forgot which one it was, but he wrote this op-ed somewhere. And I forgot what it was he was even discussing. But whatever it was, everybody got mad at the New York Times. Because <laughs> they couldn't do anything couldn't to him. Do nothing to send it up. Yeah, yeah, it's a powerlessness. Yeah, that's yeah, 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 it. Yeah, 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 so yeah, that's yeah. it. So it's just like I just feel like we all went too far. We all went too far this way. We all went too far that way. We all got a little too upset when we shouldn't have. And I'm just watching this show Saturday, and I'm listening, and I'm like, this is the space we got to play in. Yeah. Because honestly, this is the space that keeps you objective. Yeah. It's a dangerous yeah. place, though. You think it's dangerous? Everybody can't. If somebody else do what Andrew did, they're going to get smacked. If Will Smith hadn't hit Chris Mack, Chris Rock, would you think it was dangerous? Prior. No, because I, I know other people who get smacked, too. A lot of people get smacked. Up. He got punched know. in the face before. You know what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah, but these people also know what they're coming into outside of the lesbian. <laughs> like, <laughs> <laughs> and to be fair to her, no one's came listen, into her. You know what I mean? Dude, <laughs> listen, one of these girls probably brought their man there. And yeah. he, he probably didn't want to go anyway. He just waiting for Oh, something. he had the time of his life. Though. <laughs> if you're a girl, you bring your dude to my show, you gonna have the fucking time. He probably didn't want to go. He's waiting for the, just to do something. You know, my favorite, my well, there's a couple things I really like. I really like when young people bring their parents. And then they see their parents laughing at like that's wild shit. And then yeah. their parents will come up to me afterwards and be like, hey, damn, and that's what comedy was like. Back you know, we can make yeah, jokes man. about people, blah, blah, blah. Yeah. And so I love like, maybe it's I'm getting a little bit old now and like seeing my pops and thinking about having kids and stuff. Like, so seeing like parents and kids like hang out as a, adults together oh, is like kind of beautiful. Cool. And then, but I, I love it when like a guy brings his girl and he's not sure that, and then they really like it. And then he has this like kind of like newfound a yeah. uh, thing with his girl, like, oh, we can, we can get, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Ratchet. <laughs> it's a sense of freedom. Yeah. It's like, a sense yeah. of freedom that you leave that show with, like, it's okay. It, you're the, you're the world's going to be okay. It's okay. Yeah. Everything is going to yeah, be okay. It's okay. Yeah, open up. Yeah, it's okay. not so serious. The real world ain't the internet. Oh, yeah. It's not you the blog. You serious right. show? You're yeah. about to be fucked up. Yeah. No, that's right. The real world's not the internet. That's the real the world. The real world's not the blogs, and don't take shit so serious. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, I literally was laughing at a Joe Biden video yesterday because it's something you said on stage. The Easter Bunny shit? Yeah, no, when you... Yes, no, which one you saw when he was at no, North Carolina A&T? The, the one where, where he was about to start talking about Afghanistan and the Easter Bunny came in, no, like... No, you didn't see... Yo, Taylor, pulled this video up. You got to see this video. Wait, which one is this? Bro, you <laughs> have to see this video. Just pull up Joe Biden, North Carolina A&T, um, handshake. Oh, when he handshakes the air. Yeah, I say that. I say that. I say that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That shit. No, but you did that. that I mean, that shit is absolutely amazing. But the 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 bird shit one is good. But the Easter Bunny one is fire because they put a controller of him in an Easter Bunny outfit in case he started talking about shit he wasn't supposed to. No, man. And then, yeah, and then and then the reporters are going. So what are we doing about Afghanistan? These things. He goes, well, the thing about Afghanistan, the Easter Bunny literally comes going. Hey, time to <laughs> time to look no, at the no, eggs. Man. I swear no, to God, man. Son. no man, no way. I swear I look, up, man. look up Joe Biden Pull Easter up, Bunny man. interruption. <laughs> no, see but see, here's the thing. I would have been disgusted at that video prior to your show, and now you're like, because I'm like, <laughs> yo, this motherfucker really is. He got it. Yeah, the truth. He really is that <laughs> guy. Truth, if you like, if you look at it from this perspective, yeah. it's like I don't get mad. I didn't get mad. Like this old motherfucker has no idea where he's at. He's he like, oh, yeah. like, look at this crazy. He's yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> How would Duval he's watch going it? The wrong right? way. He just laughs. Yeah, he just laughs. Duval would be smoking a blunt and be dying laughing. Okay, watch this shit. This shit is so fire. Yeah, 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 yeah. Video of Easter Bunny interrupting Joe Biden viewed five million times. Now watch this. Watch this. Watch this. No, 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 no. Wait, wait. Oh, there you go, yeah. Oh, yeah, here you go, here you go. Here you go, there you go. So he starts, they start asking him shit. <laughs> He's really lost. What, what is it? Joe yeah. Biden quickly interrupted by the Easter Bunny. There's another video of it, too. After he starts, oh, so basically the Easter Bunny's like his PR. Exactly, watch, but watch. Oh, come on now, come on now. Let's go over here. Now there's another angle from the oh back. Oh, my God. So it's amazing. Well, instead of a PR, he got a BR, a fucking bunny <laughs> rabbit. Right. Yo, that's sad. There it is. This one, watch this one. This is my favorite angle. Afghanistan. Oh, 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 wait, wait. What are you doing talking about Afghanistan? Hey! <laughs> 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 Treating him like a kid, guys. <laughs> Bye-bye. <laughs> 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 
Uh, most powerful man in the world. I guess. I mean, <sighs> you know, some people just have a title. <laughs> you yeah, know what I mean? Literally. Some people just have a title. Thanks. But is the tour over? Two more uh, places. Atlantic City and then Vancouver. Vancouver is a makeup date. When is Atlantic City? Atlantic City is uh, Saturday. You have to go see Andrew Schultz yes. on tour. I don't, I don't even know what the numbers are, but I don't see anybody doing more tickets than you than Coy. Who's out on the road? I guess Chris, Chris is on the road now. Chris, Chris is on the, Chris road. Is on the Kevin. road. I mean, Kev. Like, there are guys that are like, I mean. But those guys are big yeah, dogs. You know it. what I mean? Like, yeah, you're, yeah, you're, yeah. you're the new big dog. You know what I mean? Yeah. Those guys. Well, Tom Segura and Burt Kreischer do great. Mm -hmm. But I, I, I hear what you're saying. Like, my generation, I'm probably like one generation below those guys. Mm -hmm. And of my generation, yeah, I think we're the, we're the one doing it, man. It's, uh, and the one question I had, cool. what, what comic from New York City, hmm. born and bred from New York, has sold out Radio City Music Hall twice. I don't know. I don't know. Maybe. Last one I saw was Eddie. Oh, wow. 85. I had to Google these things because I was really, oh, you know, wow. I, I Googled, and, and I'm not saying that it, that was it, but the last, last one I saw was Eddie Murphy. Holy I'm shit. I'm sure Rock has had to do it though, right? Rock, I know Rock is coming to Radio City on his tour currently and then maybe Andrew Dice Clay or something, but that is, yeah. That's, yo, that's crazy. I didn't even think about, like, how many New Yorkers. Born and bred New Yorkers yeah. that have sold out Radio City twice yeah. in a night. Born and bred New Yorkers. Twice. Yeah, that's a crazy thing, man. Ah, yeah, you should be just, proud of yourself, man. I did. I, I felt proud, man. I felt you proud. You let it loose. You better have some kids now. I know, right? That, that's Shit. the next goal. You're I know. Finished. I know. I know. We got to go on a honeymoon and then, uh, and then. The After that, maybe yeah, during the honeymoon. COVID fucked up the honeymoon. Yeah. 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 yeah now yeah. you don't have to wear no mask on the plane. I heard about that. Which is so, I don't mm. know why they're just getting around to that. Yeah. You're not wearing masks nowhere else. We just was at a fucking comedy show with 6,000 people. I know. You know what I'm saying? Not a <laughs> mask in sight, Not a mask in sight. How think dope the, was uh, that? Things going back Even up. Bill Gates didn't have a mask, bro. mask back on, at least. Say again? The case is going back up. We need to at least start putting masks back on. Eh. I think it's over, bro. Mm. Even on the plane, it's like, yo, they, they, like they say the plane has like a filtration system that purifies the air every six minutes. So they like the only way you can really get COVID is, is if it? somebody right next to you has it. So it's, it's safer sick. this whole time in the plane? I, 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 that's what I, I mean, I don't see why it's not. I don't see how it is. Everybody just breathing each other in that one, one. The filtration system. What are flight attendants going to do now that they can't yell at us? The whole flight. Yell at us about not having yeah, nothing have going on. Like uh, yeah, 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 yeah. The whole fucking flight. Like, like come eating. on, lady. Everything I'm eating. Yeah. <laughs> Yo, Al, <laughs> Al got in an argument with a lady. <laughs> this guy is a fucking animal, bro. <laughs> where were we going, Al? Oh, fuck. Damn. I forget where we're going. Yeah. We're going on something like that. And then Al is sitting in the first seat behind first class. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Right? Six. So it's behind. like that. He's right here. He's in the middle seat. Yeah. And then there's a, a white lady, obviously, next to him. Right? Now, I'm a couple seats in front of him so I can hear things going on, but I don't know exactly what's happening, right? Yeah. All I hear is him starting to argue with this lady, right? And the lady gets told him to put his mask on, right? <laughs> so Al goes, I'm drinking. And she goes, <laughs> she goes, she goes, you haven't taken a sip for a minute. And he goes, you don't know how long it takes me to take a sip. <laughs> 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 she launched her fucking mind. Al hit the flight attendant shit. Al hit the flight attendant shit. Called the flight attendant. This lady's bothering me. This lady's <laughs> harassing me. This la no, 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 no. The flight attendant came over. So oh, Al, yeah. another lady. The white Tell lady. Put your mask on. The yeah, white yeah. lady. Yeah, oh, yeah. So well, and then Al just said, at the Karen. Yep. And then Al goes, the, this lady's harassing me. Please tell her to stop harassing me. She said, Yup. I got Karen right back on. The language. He knows the language. You learn from Karen. Yup. Yeah, yep. yep. Her yep. husband and her kid were there yep. next on the aisle. They looked over and then just looked away, right? It's like, yeah. uh, mom's at it again. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that means they Hopefully know no he knows his wife <laughs> and that guy, that kid knows oh, yeah, his yeah. mom. You were videotaping yeah, her. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I They really shut the fuck up. Was she a Karen Karen? Yeah. Like super Karen. Really? Yeah. Like blonde hair. Yeah. Oh, he's harassing. And then I started you. texting the group <laughs> chat, but so she could see it. <laughs> so I'm texting it with my phone. She's reading she, it, and I'm like, "Yo, this bitch next to me is wild." <laughs> yeah, so, so. What did she say? <laughs> Stop She's like, about don't me. be texting about me. I was like, man, mind your business. Like, what I do on my phone is none of your business. Wow. <laughs> yeah. You didn't have to get moved? What? No, no, no. She got moved. She moved. Wow. Yep. Times are changing. Let's yes. go. Yes. Yes. I wonder what happened if I did that. Son. 
Yeah, yeah, I, I, I definitely would have pulled the plane over. Shut the fuck up. They would have pulled the plane over. They would have pulled the plane over. He's too. They would have pulled the plane over. They're not. I would have definitely wild the fuck out. I would have gone like this motherfucker. They're not playing with you. Oh shit! There was a talk about wild jokes. That you know, Ilan Omar, the congresswoman from this. She had um, she she responded to this video of these people playing like uh, uh, Christian songs on a plane for Easter. Okay. Like they busted out a guitar. They started playing like some uh, Christian music, whatever like that. And she was like, uh, what, would, what would happen if uh, me and my people had decided to have a prayer in the middle of a flight? Uh, and then, Shit. and then somebody <laughs> responded, <laughs> not nah, fam, fam, somebody responded, uh, uh, you know, she goes, what would happen to a flight if me and my people started to have a prayer in the middle of it? And the, the response was, it would end up in the 50th floor of the Empire State Building. <laughs> oh my, holy <laughs> shit. Jesus yeah. Christ. <laughs> Jesus <laughs> Christ. Lost it. Hey, by the way, though, Edgy. by the way, you got to read the room. Edgy. Listen, <laughs> you got to read the room. Why Jeez. would you do that? Jeez. Why would any Muslim person do that? No, but they didn't. They didn't. She's saying, what if? Like, No, we don't, don't want that it. what yeah, if. That's not even something to put out there. You know, why? why? Because it'll be a group of Muslim people who want to try it. Yeah. People have a a reason to feel that way. Why trigger us? Well, yeah, well, I guess that's what we were talking about. You know what I'm no, I hear you. It's like we've been fed so much media that this thing could happen. Even if the media is bullshit, people are gonna be anxious. That's nervous. right. Now, that doesn't mean that you should have to change your life because of that, but but I thought it was annoying that she just like that she just talked about. Like, I just, she's like annoying. She's trying to like antagonize. Like, is it annoying that these fucking people are standing up in the middle of a fight? Like playing their guitar. Yes. Yeah. It's annoying when people have lab conversations or playing. Babies That's not cry. what this is about. Yeah. Babies cry. Come yeah, on. things are annoying. Uh, yeah. Things are Let, fucking let's annoying. Keep, let's keep it at that. Let's keep it at how annoying yeah, this thing is. Yeah, that's it. Just stay right yeah, there. Yeah, we yeah, all yeah. agree. Like, you yeah. could just all agree, like, yeah. ugh, this is annoying. But when you turn it into one of my people, da, 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 race, like, religion. Come like, on, yo. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Also, it's one day a year, get? too. It's it's on fucking Easter. It's not like it's a yeah, Thursday right. and they're just up there having a rock concert on the flight. Like, <laughs> you can't let the Christians have one fucking day. That's right. That's right. Once again, we appreciate it. Th- th- this also what happens when you don't let Jesus headline. His holiday. <laughs> you let the bunny. Because how, yeah, how much funnier would that Joe Biden video have been if it was somebody, if it was Jesus? Jesus. <laughs> <Bring it up. laughs> I'm back! <Yeah. laughs> but it's the truth, man. Yeah. Let Jesus headline more holidays, yo. Mm. The bunny don't goddamn matter. It just doesn't. Um, let's talk about Gia Casey. Suit the Gia. Who's Gia? You Who's know? Gia? Break it down. Gia's uh, Envy's wife. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Our guy Envy has a, uh, him and Gia have a book out called Real Life. <laughs> Real love. Yep. Can you play the clip for Andrew Taylor? Andrew hasn't seen the clip. This is a this is actually a story that's in the book uh, that Envy and Gia shared. You see the headline on Shade Room. This is an interview they did with Shade Room. DJ Envy and Gia Casey step in and talk cheating, faking it in the bedroom, healing, and more. And I'm sure so many women can relate. Like, you want to reward that man for that work. And the only reward that you have to offer is an orgasm. Yeah. But even if I didn't feel it, I would still be performative. So, yes, I was faking it. We got into, like, an a argument. And then she was like, well, you know, I don't be having an orgasm. She didn't say it in that. She speaks way more eloquent than I would have. And I was like, what? And she was like, I don't. I'm like, no, yes, you do. I hear it. Like, yeah, 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 yeah. And then she was like, no, I'm faking it. I'm like, every time? And she was like, yeah. And then that just crushed me because I thought I was putting in work. Like, I'm, I'm sitting there thinking I'm, you know, Big Daddy Long Leg. Yo, <laughs> Envy. Envy. Let me tell you something about DJ Envy. get destroyed, Let me bro. tell you something. Oh, they're cooking them. Let me cook. But let me oh tell you something about DJ Envy. God. DJ Envy is top five funniest people I know that's not a comedian. Hilarious. <laughs> hilarious. That motherfucker is hilarious <laughs> without <laughs> even trying. And he's even more hilarious when he's dead serious. Yo, hold on. Hold on. That is the what? funny as shit. What? And it's not a stereotype if it's true. Yeah. And everything that's ever been said about light-skinned men is facts. When it comes to DJ Envy, it is 110 yeah, 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 Is he king light skin? Facts. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He might be King Light Skin, yo. <laughs> he's he's, 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 he's up there, he's man. He's up Drake's there. Because Drake's not really light skin. He's half. That's he's different. Yeah, well, that's people, it's, just, it's a debate whether the, the Envy's Dominican or not. His dad's Ooh. from Dominica. 
Wait, what is that? An island? Yeah, 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 yeah. But that's not Dominican Republic. I don't know. <laughs> yeah, I'm from South Carolina. I ain't been there before. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Opalaka. Hey, 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 hey. <laughs> Let me tell you where I'm from before you keep asking questions. That's right. <laughs> that's... Oh, Dominica. Oh, Dominica. Dominique. So he's Dominican. I guess. Same difference. Yeah. I just mispronounced yeah, yeah, yeah. the minute. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Now we get it. Spanish is all good. So wait a minute. Oh, wow. So she never orgasmed? Ten years. When Ten they first, years. You know, they've been together since they were teenagers. So Whoa. from like 16, 17 to 27. That's she didn't have a single years. orgasm with him. Faking orgasms. And he was the one that cheated? Oh. Listen, yeah. your pride, it all depends on what happens. Your pride get hit up, man. <laughs> what? You got to see if you still got it. Was that inappropriate, what I just said, or that was a good question, bro? I, mean, I like the question. Because he was cheating with the arrogance of, yeah, I make my girl orgasm all the time. Let me yeah. spread this around. <laughs> but, no, yeah, no. You know what I'm saying? No, like, it it, it could have been after she told I him think that. I, right or wrong? Is that, <laughs> like, you, know, like, you know, low key, she gave him the confidence to cheat. That's kind of oh, on her. No, no, no. <laughs> if, if she broke it down at home, he got to go see if he could, it worked for somebody else. Oh, 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 wait, 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 wait. If if she's not, you're saying? Yeah, it, uh, well, who knows around the time, you know what I'm saying? She probably would have told him that, and then he probably would Oh, that hurt his ego, and because his ego is so hurt, he's I like, I need to shit have sex with something to make else. me feel good. No, no, low-key, that's, I'm obviously not blaming her, but, like, I can totally see why a guy would go out there and stray because of insecurity. Like, he'd be like, yo, yeah, I don't feel confident shit, having sex with you. I need to know someone really enjoys having sex with me so I can feel like I'm worth something. All cheating is insecurity, though. Yes. I think it so. Is. I think all cheating is feeding your ego. No. I think it's all insecurity. No, it ain't. I think so. What's it's some just, of it? It, it? I think most of it is that girls want to give you something. And you just feel bad letting them down. No, yeah, just do it just because. Yeah, but you wouldn't want, I don't, I don't think you hurt the one you love when you, you don't hurt the one you love intentionally. Mm, Meaning no, like you don't do it on purpose. Not. So if you love somebody and you really care about them and you really love yourself, you're not going to do anything that's going to hurt them. Of course. Mm. You know what I'm saying? So that's why I say I think it's insecurity and I think it's ego because I, 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 we was having this conversation with, Gear this morning. I'm like, I don't think there's when when a man cheats, it has nothing to do with what he has at home. Nothing. I don't think it has nothing to do with what he has at home. Maybe ten percent. Uh, I think it's what he Is lacks in any, himself. Okay. Yes. Is it possible that like your relationship at home could be uh, deteriorating your self confidence, and then you're going out mm -hmm. there, and also you might not be a very confident person. Mm -hmm. You might be very codependent, but that person isn't. Uh, providing what you need to depend on them, so you go outside to do it. So it's your insecurity. You, yeah, I guess. but Don't you're not you getting that. that same thing that you got from that woman. Yeah, because you still lack stuff in yourself, right? Like you, yeah. you should. When you really have real self confidence, you don't need nobody to validate. Yes, uh -huh. yes. You know yes. what I'm saying? That's yes. why social media got everybody going fucking crazy. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah everybody yeah, yeah, wants yeah. this validation from all these outside influences. When you have it in here, yeah, can't nobody validate you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know yeah. what I mean? So it's just like even if you are having. Issues at home, like your woman can't bring down your self confidence. She might piss you off, yeah, but she can't bring down your self confidence. So you yeah, never just yeah, got pussy yeah. just because a girl wanted to give you something is the right time, right place. Like, no, nah, that's wild. You a wild boy, man. You just, no, no, I'm just saying. I'm sorry, I don't do it now. But I'm just it saying it just happened. I believe I don't think anything was wrong at home. It's just like okay, it just happened because it happened. There was nothing wrong with nothing. I think it's ego, man. It wasn't a insecurity. But you're also nothing. single. You're not cheating. <laughs> I'm not talking about now. No, I'm, I'm saying now. back when you did this, when you were just fucking random girls, like, yeah, even if I was into something, it was like, what I do you just mean was into something? If I was into a relationship, if a girl just wanted to, back, so in if the you day, had a girlfriend, yes, and the girl cheated just, on her, I cheated on her only because the other girl wanted to give me something, not because I was insecure or I felt like something was wrong at home. That's not a good enough reason. Like, you got to have a reason that if you do get caught, yeah. Have you, you tried can, to tell a girl that? Can, I get it. I just That's yeah. not a good reason. I, I was been fucked up anyway. Yeah. Why'd you cheat on me? Because she gave it to me. She just yeah, wanted she to gave, give me some pussy. She wanted to give me some it. pussy. Yeah, 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 yeah. You never just fuck somebody because they wanted to give you pussy? You, you had to feel not bad. Cheating. Not cheating. Like, I wouldn't risk throwing away my whole relationship just because a girl's like, here, I'd like to give you some pussy. Word. Yeah, yeah. I mean, yeah. You're not homeless, what? bro. Like, Yeah, I really did it because y'all felt bad. What do you mean? You did felt what? bad for yourself, so you, you took pussy from somebody else? No, nah, the only huh? time I've cheated is because I knew the relationship was over and I was too much of a coward to break up. See, now that's a okay. different story. Okay. Yeah. That means that you, you're you disconnected. Yeah. You're mm -hmm. emotionally disconnected. You don't want to be in a relationship no more, but you have not yeah. laid the gauntlet down. Yeah. You know and, now, I mean? and that's on me. I was a that's fucking pussy. If I, if, I was, if I manned up, then I wouldn't have wasted that girl's time for a few months. Or now, some people call that self-destruction on purpose, though. Ooh. 
Yeah, because I can see that. Like, you want to get caught. caught. Yeah, that's yeah, right. Yeah, yeah. Take you me out my misery. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Take me out my misery. You're not trying to hide it. You leave your phone facing upwards. Yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? Hoping she texts you. I miss you, bro. That was good last night. Yes. You hope that. Like, some people do it on purpose. Um. No, I wouldn't say that. Though. I think we're still asking the wrong questions when it comes to this gear envy thing, though. Okay. The question we should be asking is, how do we know our women haven't been faking orgasms? That's facts. I've been, I, I, we, we had a, a, a phone conversation about it this morning. A lot of women was calling <laughs> in saying they were faking orgasms. I don't want to know about it. I don't want to think about it. With all the <laughs> I, I like what battery. I think you is happening. I don't to kick bad on your um, hair, on your pubes. That's yeast infection, bro. What? That's not cum. That's not a lot of yeast infection, bro. That, that's not cum, bro. <laughs> what is happening? Not cum. No. What is happening right what? now? That's not cum. Cake batter on their He's pubes? He's talking about discharge. Discharge is not, not cum, bro. Not discharge. Is, you don't know when a girl nutting on you. <laughs> Most of the time when girls nut, it's internal. It is? Yes. It's like a select few of girls who actually squirt, and squirting oh. ain't nothing but pee. <laughs> yeah, it's pee. Yeah, pee. But, I understand yeah. the pee part, but I'm telling you, you know when a girl, so all that shaking and stuff, you can't shake that fast. Uh, What are you talking about? Fuck a girl from Harlem if you want to. If you want to fake her orgasm. <laughs> what do you mean? Well, right. Maybe, what are you maybe talking the Harlem shakers. You know what I'm saying? Maybe, well, you, know, you know the different shake like a, like a seizure shake. Do we? Different. Do we? Oh, you gotta shake that shit Taylor, too? Taylor, come on, Taylor, as a woman. Let us know. How do you fake a Caesar shake? That's like too much. <laughs> because we know that shake. you guys like that to make it seem all extra. <laughs> like we do that. Yes. When you can, yeah. you can fake a shake? You can, <laughs> yes. yes. I'll show y'all right now. You can't fake no show, shit. Come on, show, 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 I'll do the noise. I'll do the noise. Okay. 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 There you go. There you go. There you go. Act like it's from the back. All right. <laughs> Fuck you! <laughs> Fuck you! That just happened! <laughs> Listen, Fuck. you never oh, know, yo. You be out yeah. here thinking you putting in work and she just tired. She like, man, this motherfucker been sweating on me for 20 minutes. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? My legs hurt. This shit's starting to hurt. I've been working all day. I am tired. Let me just... Harlem Shake one time and I'm done. Oh, fuck, dude. Oh, oh. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. What the fuck? That's what I'm saying. People yeah. laughing at Envy. They need to be having this conversation. Well, yo, if you fake it, keep that shit to yourself. No. Yeah. If okay. you're faking it for us, don't tell us <laughs> to. You know what I'm saying? Selfish no. ass. I want to know. That's like buying me a present and taking it back. How do you yeah. get better if somebody don't tell you? Man, fuck that. If you Why they acting it, like we're not fake, too? We fake, too. Now. Yeah. Do I look fat in this dress? Would you no. rather? <laughs> <laughs> would you rather? You know what I'm we you look fake. great. Yeah, you look amazing. Nah, you want, I had to do it by myself. You want those <laughs> real it. laughs, man. Like, a, Would you rather real laughs or fake laughs? Real laughs. Yes, them real laughs, they come from here. Yeah. It's like an orgasm. They come I, from I, here, I, I, man. You don't know where they come from, bro. You don't. People, people you don't fake know where they the come time, from, bro. Man. I like, hey, listen, if you're going to fake it, keep that shit to yourself. Yes, you don't keep it the same energy. Yo. You don't true. have to tell the man you're faking it, though. That's no, a that's real... what I'm saying. Well, like, no, if, you're, if you're in a relationship, I would want you to tell me because I want to get better. That, well, don't, you, well, why don't, don't she, fake it. If you're in a relationship, just don't come and then let's work that out. Why she what she likes? Like, why she got to tell you? You want to hear she's faking it. No, what? no, no, no. I want, no. Oh, well, if, if she... I got a big show or something important, fake that shit twice. <laughs> <laughs> well, like, you know, this is all, okay, this also, is a we fake it one, run it back. <laughs> well, you know what I mean? Make me, you know what I mean? Like, why I got to feel like kind of the man? Like, maybe feel like the man, the, the man, man, the right? man. <laughs> right? You if go outside fake it. and motherfucking conquer shit. Thank you. You might fake the first one because, you know, you might be like, you know what? Maybe he's not that good. Maybe he'll get better. You know what I'm saying? Okay, that's fine. And then if it happens again, you're like, ugh, it happens a third time. You might have to say something. Say, yeah, yo, let's talk. Let's get work that's on right. it. Let's yeah. figure out what you like. I'm all about that kind of shit. That's right. But don't do the shit where oh, you fake, fake it and what, then tell what, me what's, after. What's bad sex, though? How do you have bad sex? What do you mean? Not early? Or yeah, a lot of bad sex. Yeah, yeah. And that's the other thing women, that's the conversation women don't want to have because men, we can't tell a woman that they poom poom trash. Mm. We can't tell a woman that, man, this thing ain't really wet. Yo, we it's our that. fault. You know what a, we, yeah, you know well, what a woman would do? A woman can tell us, oh, you got a little dick. Oh, yeah, you don't really know how to they, fuck. They do you don't know how to eat. Yeah. You do that to a woman, a watch what happened. Oh, my God. Yeah. Oh, my God. Tell her pussy stink. What the fuck is wrong with you, boy? You can't suck dick. No, that's, you should tell her. What? Their pussy Ever thing? pussies thing. I've done that. That's what? You're, you're a wild guy. Hold no, on. no, 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 no. I've, I've done that. I've, How did you do it? How you do it? I just, just told her straight up. I told the woman straight up. Like, yo, you don't, 
know how to get Felicia. And actually, it was so funny. Wait, 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 wait. Oh, now the whole big no, no, ass no, word. Oh, not the chance. <laughs> I just, no, I, I actually told. I just told her she, she didn't. Says her pussy stink, or she right. says she can't give. No, head. no, no. It wasn't pussy. I told she couldn't give head. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Pussy stink, bro. Yeah. I didn't say that. No, I, I would never tell a girl that. That's okay, what wait, I wait, said. No, no, I said you should. I'm a blind. You should tell a girl that. If her pussy stink, that could be help. Yeah, that could be a help issue. That's the easiest one. You don't think she smell it already? No, because no. she's used to it. It's probably like your own farts or body Thank odor. you. You know she smell it. They it. smell it when yeah. they got that BV? And it's an easy combo. <laughs> you just be like, damn, what's that smell? <laughs> nah. <laughs> you, never, know, never, never say real, you don't yeah. got to say it's her to be like, damn, what's that smell? It act like it's you. And the first thing she's going to do is go, no, <laughs> no, no, she's going to do this. That she, she is crazy. After she farted. After she farted. Taylor, you didn't hit that before. You didn't, yeah. when you just, well, Probably beforehand, just to make sure. <laughs> probably hit it beforehand. I do, I do hit it beforehand. If I'm out on a, if I'm out on a date and everything, I'm like, you know, I'm gonna give it to him. I'm gonna, I'm going to the bathroom. You I'm should. Go to the bathroom. That's why girls yes. go to the bathroom. That's, that's why they exactly go to the bathroom. Why. It's not a pussy. I always know when I'm about to get something. She's like, stop. Hold on, I'm gonna oh, go to the bathroom. That's like, right. Yeah. Let me I'm make sure me this some. thing is right. Men do really? that too. You don't do that. Hell no. Oh come on. I do. Yo, my do my my wife caught me smelling my ass. That's where the word is born. I scratched my ass word and I went like this, but she couldn't <laughs> see me. She just heard me sniff, and she goes, "Did you just sniff your ass?" And I go, "No." Yeah. Listen, <laughs> I sniff my fingers. <laughs> so, so what, what we need to get prepared for? Because you can't go in there with swamp ass, bro. See Why your ass swamp. Come on, bro. Look at your pants. What do you mean? What do you mean? Like, you, you never got swamp <laughs> ass wearing them little ass pants? No, no on, for real, bro. I'm Come telling on. you. Listen, I've been with my wife 24 years. She hit me with one of those one time. Really? Back in the day, yeah. What'd you say? Ass smelling. Cause you, yeah, you done. She's like, she was like, yo. <laughs> that yo was worse than what that, that, that yo. Not bad. Hey, yo. Hey, yo. Hey, yo. Hey, yo. That yo with that little nose twinkle. Like, you like shit. Hold on, I'm right gonna, to the shower. Let me jump in the shower real quick and come back to this. Yo, I, yeah, so I that, yeah, man. But I, I've told a girl she don't know how to get fellatio before. And then how did you say That's that? Easy. I told her straight up. She thought I was joking until the next time she tried to do it. And I said to her, no, hell no, you ain't about to make me mad. <laughs> <laughs> I ain't got time for this shit. You said what, Taylor? Okay, what's the best way to tell a girl she don't give she, good head? She also yeah. wasn't my significant other. Yeah, but you telling a girl she doesn't give good fellatio isn't, like, helping her. You need to how do tell I, her How do you she, do it? How do you do it? No, it's not. You need to tell her what you like. Every you're right. guy likes you're right. it different. You, you, you have to be like, let's Yo, try can like you do this, this good? <laughs> <laughs> yo, yo, but so wait, oh, like, wait, you are y'all trying, trying to say that every all y'all like play show the same? Yeah. Do you think so? Yeah, 100%. <laughs> guaranteed. <laughs> I just want it good. I We're not like women. Yeah. Every woman like, needs their own fucking special thing yeah, in order to orgasm or whatever like that. Watch yeah. one video, we all like that. You know it'd be so funny if a woman be like, what you know about sucking dick? <laughs> <laughs> you look at dead in her eyes. Everything. <laughs> I think all y'all are different. You say, no, we are. I mean, everybody likes different things. You know what I mean? Yeah. But I just think everybody need to stop laughing at Envy for a second and really take this time to yep. have a conversation with your significant other Envy's about king, what y'all like in the bedroom. Yeah. Envy's king. Just find, just find somebody who don't take a mad long to, to please in the bed. If you know she's, you know she orgasm, get that one and marry her. Mm, that's fast. Time for all other type. No, nah, because day, for real, you don't want to walk around like insecure. No, it's all for pride at the end of the day. If I can make you nut, my pride is high, I can go outside. 100%. If I'm up here trying to fuck you all day and then if I don't make you nut, and then now I'm all day I'm trying to figure out how can I make you nut or clean the house to make you feel better. Yeah. <laughs> oh, now you got to clean the house because you can't make her come. Yeah, no, I got to do mad chores. I got to do some extra shit. But yeah. you can learn how to make a girl come. It's not like the girl is broken. You know what I'm saying? It's not like she doesn't have those spots. You just got to learn what her spots are. And a lot of times, I think that's on us as individuals because you got to masturbate when you're younger to figure it out. Figure out what it is that you yeah. like. Yeah. You know that second nut is what it is anyway, so get that fucking first nut out But of that's it. how you get nuts. pregnant if, you, if you're going raw on the second nut. No, no, no. The first nut gets you pregnant. You got no? everything in there. No. <laughs> if you go raw second nut, you still got a little cum left in your dick from the first mm. nut. I don't believe that. Son, that's how people get pregnant. Nah, because I had a, I haven't done a second nut in years. And I got four. <laughs> <laughs> Ain't that proof? 
No, no four kids. All of those kids are first nut short. Oh, really? <laughs> Absolutely. Oh, shit. Those, those are the winners, bro. That's the, you don't want to have second nut Absolutely. kids, bro. Because those are sperms that didn't even want to leave. Right? Like, you want, you want some bad home body. Kid. Yeah, kid won't leave the house never and shit. <laughs> Playing video bad games in the basement. I see why y'all feel like that, though, because that first nut is like, I don't even want to be here in the first Yeah, place. yeah. It's like that second nut is working. The first nut is just like, like spitting. Like, yeah, get it out. You know out. what I'm saying? Get like, it out. That shit was there all day. <laughs> but that's the one. Get them out. Um, before we pay some bills, man, can we salute the mouse? Let's salute our guy, Mouse Jones. I've been wanting to salute Mouse Jones for a while. I wanted to do it last week, but Andrew wasn't here. Love Mouse. What did Mouse do? my guy, Mouse, man. What do you have, man? Mouse is out here. Lord have mercy, bro. Giving us the cutest personality portraits that the streets have seen in a long time. Yo, let's go. That one right there that's fire, is bro. amazing. Mouse. That's fire, bro. Like, with the hand like this, bro, with the, like, that is cute as fuck. Fuck masculinity. That's what I'm talking about, yo. That's, a, that's masculinity the right quench, there. But, the eye squinch, you know what I'm saying? The beard moisturized. Mouth <laughs> is going for it. Yeah, is, is a shirt line? Huh? You got a new shirt line or something? Like, what is he, <laughs> <doing>? <laughs> like, what is he posing, though? I don't know what yeah. mouth is posing. He's just selling sex, bro. <laughs> What's the ca Oh, the caption says, you got a daughter. Oh, I didn't even realize that. The caption said, you got a daughter. You got to get softer. That's not what we're, we meant, Mouse. Okay? <laughs> 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 that's not... What? We didn't mean it's actually opposite, brother. You need to we didn't a mean shotgun soft walking face. around. I like it though. All right, let's look at Oh, this some is more. my one right here. Go to the one with him in the jumper. This oh, one yeah, right there. Oh, it. that's it right there. Pure sex. Oh, yeah. that's it Pure right sex. there. That's it right there. Pure I don't sex. know if they're lying to you, bro. Stop it. Call that's me. it right there. Ooh. Nah, nah, Mouse got it. Mouse got it, bro. He got it, bro. When you got it, you got when it. You got it, you got it. I'm not even hating on Mouse. Mouse that, oh, that one right there. That's the Q one. <laughs> yeah. That's the Q one. Yo, what that, is he doing? That's the one I just broke yeah, up and I'm on, going man. out tonight. That's okay? Sick. That's the usher Someone, you don't have to call ringtone. You don't have to call. <laughs> right? It's okay, that's what girl. That is. That's, that's when you just broke up or you just got into an argument oh, with this Instagram. Is this an Instagram? You sit down in yeah. front of that it's, mirror it's, and it's do no like this. You see, he put the deuces behind the back of the head. I've never seen none of this. When you put the deuces behind the back of the head, you really don't want to go nowhere. Yeah. <laughs> you really don't want to mean deuces. That's cute. The Vance and jacket. Mouse killer. Look, look at my comment. You got What's you your got, comment? You got me this year, but you don't need to pose like that. Stop it. <laughs> <laughs> One time for our guy, Mouse. Is that a real laugh? Go back. No, that's not a real. Hell no, that's not a go, real go laugh. Go back, go back. Mouse is in his por personality portrait bag. You hear me? Okay? <laughs> Mouse is out here serving face. That jacket's fire, though. I ain't yeah, got advantage, yeah. I ain't yeah, seen yeah, Mouse. Yeah, I, saw yeah. Mouse I saw Mouse posted he was at the show, but I ain't seen Mouse. I didn't see him either. I saw him posted he was okay. there. Unless he just took a picture from Instagram. <laughs> Motherfucker. Salute to Mouse, though. Uh, let's pay some bills. Mouse, we love you, bro. All right, let's take a break and pay some bills, man. We got to salute Babel. All right, for most of us, learning a second language in high school or college wasn't exactly a high point in our academic careers. Actually, I think at Berkeley High School in Monk's Corner, South Carolina, they weren't even offering <laughs> no other languages, okay? But now, thanks to Babbel, the language learning app that sold more than 10 million subscriptions is an addictively fun and easy way to learn a new language. Whether you'll be traveling abroad, connecting in a deeper way with family, or you just have some free time, Babbel teaches bite-sized language lessons that you'll actually use in the real world, okay? Personally, Spanish, that's the language that we have to learn, okay? If you're looking at society, the world will be uh, majority brown by 2040, so you better learn language, man. You better learn Spanish, okay? What did uh, Denzel Washington say in training day? Learn that shit. Learn that shit, okay? Babbel's 15-minute lessons make it the perfect way to learn a new language on the go. Other language learning apps use AI for their lesson plans, but Babbel lessons were created by over 100 language experts, okay? Their teaching method has been scientifically proven to be effective. With Babbel, you can choose from 14 different languages, including Spanish, French, Italian, and German. I did take French in 10th grade, but they just taught us, like, how to say hi and bye. Plus, Babbel's speech recognition technology helps you to improve your pronunciation and accent. I don't know if you can do the accent for all of these languages. It might be cultural appropriation, but uh, ask Babbel. There are so many ways to learn with Babbel. In addition to lessons, you can access podcasts, games, videos, stories, and even live classes. Plus, it comes with a 20-day money-back guarantee. 
Start your new language learning journey today with Babbel. Right now, save up to 60% off your subscription when you go to babbel.com slash idiots. That's babbel.com slash idiots for up to 60% off your subscription. Babbel, language for life. Now, let's talk about DraftKings, man. The NBA playoff means next-level basketball. Get in on the first-round action with DraftKings Sportsbook, an official sports betting partner of the NBA. This week, new customers can bet $5 on any team to win and get $150 in free bets instantly. You win no matter what. All DraftKings Sportsbook customers can also bet on NBA hoops with same-game parlays. Combine multiple bets from the same game for a bigger payout. The more legs you add, the more money you can win. Plus, each day of the first round, you get a risk-free bet up to $10 if your same game parlay doesn't hit. Download the DraftKings Sportsbook app now. Use promo code IDIOTS. Bet $5 on any NBA team to win their game during the first round of playoffs and get $150 in free bets instantly. That's promo code IDIOTS at DraftKings Sportsbook, an official sports betting partner of the NBA. Minimum age and eligibility restrictions apply. See notes for details. Let's get back to the show. The announcements are a very important part of what we do in church. All right, we got any church announcements? Um, Infamous tour. Two more dates left. Atlantic City and Vancouver get to one of them. Then the, then the tour is over, man. It's kind of crazy to even say that. But uh, And then yeah. what? What's up? What's next? We got to drop that special, bro. Or, or I got to fill you in on that. Babies. There's some, some interesting developments with that. I is the special you. what we saw at Radio City? Uh, Some of it. Some other stuff. Like, okay. obviously, some moments that just happen. Okay. That happen in the moment. Okay. You know, like, I, yeah, I'll tell you. I'll tell you all about it. Once okay. we get into that special mode, we'll, we'll uh, yeah, we got it. Wax, you got some church announcements? Yes, sir. Who's Wax in um, local dispensaries in L.A. right here in Metro Bud and 106 in Columbus. Um, check out The Bully and the Beast every Wednesday on um, Spotify. And uh, Who's Wax Airsoft? Holla at us. Yeah, just go to blackeffect.com. Subscribe to all the podcasts on the Black Effect Podcast Network. And, man, you know, I, I thought about it this week because Envy's book came out April 19th, and then I saw people posting on uh, Monday the 18th that it was the five-year anniversary of Black Privilege, my first book. You know what I'm saying? Wow. Um, which became an instant five New York Times already? bestseller. Five years, man. Wow. And then five years later, it's still a number one bestseller on Amazon and the general wow. broadcasting, wow. which is a big category. You know what I mean? Because you got the Howard Stearns and Elvis Durans and, you know, Bobby Bones and Angie Martinez, all these different, you know, personalities and media personalities, TV, radio mm. that have written books. And I've been number one for five years Crazy. in that category and still got a five-star rating. So uh, salute to everybody that's supported the book and um, supports the books on the imprint. Because, you know, it's a black, it's an imprint now, Black Privilege Publishing through Simon & Schuster. Got Tamika Mallory, State of Emergency out there. Anita Kopak, Shallow Waters out there. And we got uh, the graphic novel, um, Dark Storm, you know, coming from my man, Kevin Grivoux. You know what's crazy about a book? It just kind of hit me when you said that five years, still number one. Is that like a book is different than like a movie or even a TV show where like a book has a life forever and then sometimes like resurges, right? Like Huckleberry Finn could just blow up again. Uh, uh, the Game of Thrones books, they were popular. Then all of a sudden the movie comes out that's and right. it's even more popular. And it's like, it's this thing. It doesn't really go away, especially if it's like an iconic book and you're just going to keep on selling as long as it affects culture or you affect culture. That's right. It's, or, it, it's, or cartoons, too. Yeah, the yeah, Charlotte cartoons. Webs. I'm like, how the fuck you still got Charlotte But Web? think about how many of those cartoons have to exist, right? Like, mm -hmm. a book is this one piece. And I never thought about that. I always thought about a book kind of like movie. Like, it comes up, okay, then there's a big sale, and then it kind of goes away. Mm -hmm. It doesn't go away. No, 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 never. Like, books are around forever. Like, there's books right now that you can look on the New York Times bestsellers list that came out 30, 40 years ago. 100 years ago. 100 years 200 ago. years ago. Right. Absolutely. Uncle Tom's Cabin. I mean, that is That's 1800s. Right. People still mind the Bible. <laughs> yeah, they are. Yeah. 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 I got to buy me a new Bible. The Bible slaps, though. Yeah. The Old Testy or New Testy? Hey, I like both. Really? I like both. I like the LeBron James version and the old joint. But it's just like, <laughs> it's like, it, it, it slaps because it's like a, it's a, it's never ending stories yeah. that you can always constantly apply to your, your life. Yeah, Even right, when yeah. times change. Yeah. Climate changes, the world changes. You can still open up the Bible and find something that resonates. Because there's stories still, about like, humanity. They're not stories right. about like uh, specific events. That's right. Like every story is relatable because they are the things that humans have gone through for 
like those are the collections. Yeah, but those are the collections of the best stories in history up until that point. That's right. Over thousands of years. Those are the greatest, the craziest things that have happened that relate to the most people. It's basically like, and this is not to diminish the Bible, but it's like, imagine you took the best, like, DreamWorks, Pixar, Disney movies, and only took the best parts of the best things, right. and you put it into one, you're like, yeah, this is going to exist forever. Yeah. This is not going away. Yeah. I love it, man. I love I love books. Um, and to your point, I love the things that books become. Books can become movies. Books can become, you know, hit TV Have shows. you thought about doing anything with the books? You know, man, wh- whatever God got planned is going to happen, mm-hmm. you know? I don't I don't know what he has planned, you know, but black privilege has done extremely well, you know, and I I appreciate it. I just like the fact that it's the imprint now. I was actually having this conversation with somebody the other day. I was talking about um the power of books and I was saying how like books aren't even something that you necessarily do for money. Books is something that you do because you really feel like you have something to say and you're giving people something that they can learn from. Mm. I know for a fact guys like Malcolm Gladwell, Robert Greene, Ryan Holiday, they don't sit down and write these books for money. They write these books because they actually have something to say. Mm. And the money comes. Mm. Because a lot of times those paydays for books aren't really huge up front. But it's the back end. Uh, You know what I'm saying? Now you can take a big payday up front. Don't get me wrong. There's plenty of people that get big paydays up front. They don't never really sell no books. Because they're just a big name. They're just a big name. And sometimes they don't have nothing to say. Those Uh, books that do well are the ones where somebody actually learns them from and say, yo, you got to read this book. Like, I recommend Ego is the Enemy by Ryan Holiday to everybody. Yeah. I recommend Obstacle is the Way by Ryan Holiday to everybody. I recommend The Unapologetic Guide to Black Mental Health by Dr. Rita Walker to everybody. Back in the day, I recommended The 48 Laws of Power to well, everybody. Yeah. You know what I mean? 48 Laws of Power. R- Ronda Byrne, The Secret. You know what I mean? The Never Four Agreements. These are things that you constantly <laughs> recommend to people. Those mm. are starter kits for me. Like, mm. read these books. And, you know, you'll get the autobiography of Malcolm X, mm. <laughs> like, which just came out on Audible last year. Wild. Never had an Audible version. So, yes. Who Oops. voices it? That's what I mean. Lawrence Fishburne. Ah, great cat. <clears throat> OG great Lawrence casting. Fishburne. Uh, Lawrence yeah, Fishburne. You, need, you need someone special to, yeah. to voice it. Absolutely. And who better than Lawrence Does Fishburne? he try to do Malcolm or does he do it as Lawrence? That's a good question. I haven't heard it. And what are the rules to doing a voiceover as an impersonation? Mm, a lot of people don't impress. Well, you really don't have to impersonate because usually the person that's reading the book is the person who wrote the book. Right. Like, now, right, I'll tell right, you, right, uh, right. I, I cannot remember the sister's name who read Cicely Tyson's book. I didn't realize it wasn't Cicely Tyson because I read her book yeah. and then I listened to it. <laughs> and you're like, this got to be Cicely. I didn't realize it wasn't Cicely. Uh, because I try to get somebody that sound like them, like you go in the movie, you try to get somebody to look like somebody. That's right. I, uh, yeah. I, I don't know. That's a good question. I think you just want somebody with a good voice. Yeah. You know what I mean? Because honestly, you'd pay more attention to the four agreements if Cardi B was reading it. <laughs> you would. You know what I mean? You re- you'd pay more attention to 48 Laws of Power if you got like... Uh, well, to that point, like, I want to I wanna get voiceover actors to voiceover some of my bits for in other languages so we can put it on YouTube so we can tap into these foreign markets. Yeah, but... Know. Uh, and we got this from uh, that creator, Mr. Beast. But like what he does is he hires very famous actors from those places to voice it over so that That's those smart. people hear this familiar voice. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Right. That's smart. So I guess the Lawrence Fishburne play is similar, but Absolutely. like, especially if you're going into foreign countries, like who's going to do your book in Argentina? Yeah. Who's yeah, going to yeah, do yeah. your book in Ooh, blah, blah, blah. Yeah. Like, yeah. Yeah. Let's get into some shit you won't care about next week, Taylor. Can what a got? white voiceover actor... Why not? Do Martin Luther King? Do the N-word. If he's reading what you wrote and the job is just to... It's just like a, the movie Django, right? Like, This brings me back to your stand-up. Well, I, I don't no, say no, Nobody said... I don't that. say the N-word. <laughs> nobody Let said, me clarify. No, nobody said the N-word, but there was a time in our society where the N-word used to be used in that type of context. If somebody was quoting something... Yeah. You know what I'm saying? We've seen senators, we've seen Joe Biden when he was a senator on the Senate floor yeah. quoting something somebody said yeah. and he used the word. We've seen people quote Huckleberry Finn and use the word. Yeah. You know what I mean? So I think it, if you're reading something in context and quoting, I don't necessarily see what the problem that, is. That's a problem because, um, you know, somebody was putting up that Meek Mill, his, um, Meek Mill's uh, thing. Which one? His, uh, his, 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 
What's that thing he got? What? His anthem. McMill anthem. And then the white girls is over there, like, going every time he said that. Oh, uh, I used to ride like, like this. Without I was, yeah, 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 so is that yeah, cool yeah, yeah. at the end of the day? I don't but know. But you just now said it's cool for her to do that. I don't know. The first person to even bring that conversation to my attention was an episode of Girlfriends when Lynn's sister was rapping H to the Izzo H in the hair the salon. Izzo. And she said it and she said it in the hair salon stop. And they had a whole debate on whether or not she should use yeah, it. Yeah, like... And ever since then, I've been contemplating. And I'm like, well, if it's in a song, hmm. I don't know. I don't know what's, if that's... It, it, clearly, in 2022, people don't think that's appropriate. Well, but if there's so many things online that you're not supposed to sit there and mimic. You know what I'm saying? So, you know. Yo, you got, what about the videos? You got I think our generation saying. goes no. And I think... Next I know this sounds crazy. Us. I, I, I think... so acceptive of it. Two generations. The next one below us is super sensitive. You probably experienced this with maybe your your oldest kid might be two down. So one below us is like the super politically correct, like let let me use my pronouns and everything, blah, blah, blah. Yikes. One more below that is rebelling against them. Yeah. So they're wild. I think it's the last era of all of that. <laughs> oh, so forever you think we're I like... I think it's the last era of all of that. I think all of this shit is jumped the shark and everybody knows it. Interesting. And I think everybody Interesting. knows it. And I think uh, that even now we're, we're able to have certain conversations that we couldn't have two, three years ago. Because when you see, you know, uh, in, women inmates <laughs> getting pregnant oh, yeah, by a transgender, yeah. by a guy that looks like wax identifying as sure. a woman... And going into the woman prison sure? and impregnating people. Oh, yes, he looks like you. Oh, big and everything? Yes. Oh, How man, that's crazy. That? Did you not see him? So why won't guys just go ahead and just that, create a crime and just get a fucking... Well, yeah, you know, that's... And get some titties. That No, what? you just say How you're you a woman. Get, you don't even got to get the titties, bro. You ain't got to uh, get the titties? Nothing. No, that's the whole point. That's why oh, they're pregnant. Oh, Your body get, doesn't define <laughs> you, bro. <laughs> if I get in trouble, I'm a fucking woman. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the fuck? Are you serious? All you got to do is reference all these old videos with you with these tight clothes on. Yeah. You know Look at these pants. You've been showing shape for a long time. <laughs> yeah. Pull up the guy. Pull up the guy, too. Yeah, I got to see what he looks like. Pull up man. the guy. Yeah, I got to see this guy. But that's my point. It's just like... How many girls you got pregnant? It's two inmates in the in the woman's preg prison pregnant right now. And I, and, and yeah, I what think what kind of asshole would have two women pregnant at the same time? I don't know if it's him that got them both pregnant. <laughs> Who would do that? Who would have two women <laughs> pregnant at the same time? Charlie Assholes man? don't get two pregnant; they get three pregnant. Oh, at the same three time. is that? Oh, is no. that, what that it's three that makes you an asshole? Two, you just like, eh, you know, <laughs> shit happens. But three that happens. <laughs> That's him right there. That's him right there. That's him right there. Oh, uh, come on, man. <laughs> yo, fam. <laughs> yo. <laughs> come on, man. You got eyebrows like mine. Is that that's him? No, I don't know who that is. Go back to the other guy. That, that's him. That that's him. Look at him, man. He got eyebrows like mine. He got a nose like mine. Complexion like wax. Two women. Oh, maybe he is. Oh, yeah, it is the one. Oh, he did get two women pregnant. Two women fall pregnant in prison after having sex with trans inmates. That's just wild, bro. Yeah, come on. He got at least had titties. <laughs> no, they did some law where you well, don't have to have the whole gender reassignment. The wildest thing is we're assuming it was consensual. What do you mean? No, it was. They said it was. Well, they might have said that because of what could happen to them if they snitch in prison. Nah, nah the women said it was consensual. You in jail, if you tell on, you're supposed nah, to handle not, your not business. In this situation because it's not nah. one of them against... Yeah, the women. All these women. You don't yeah, play around with women. Yeah, the women said it was. But I don't, I don't know the rules. I just thought the rules in jail are like, you you have to handle it yourself. You don't tell on the what CEOs. Happened, what about the handle that got handled? What happens the to the baby, though? <laughs> Say what? What happens to the baby? Yeah, that's crazy. Yeah, yeah. And how much yeah, time yeah, they yeah, got? Your, 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 your mom and your mom are in prison? Yeah. Like, what happens your to the baby? Your mom and your mommy. Yeah. Yeah. Who's just one? The baby just. But that's even worse. Like Taylor said, it goes to the relative or it goes up for adoption. Oh, no. Like, come on. Like, what kind of what uh, kind of opportunity are you providing this kid from day one? Yeah, Like, dude. Jesus yeah. Christ. Hopefully the, one of the mommies get out soon. Yeah. But my point is, that's ridiculous. <laughs> <laughs> we can have a conversation about how ridiculous that is yeah. without anybody being called transphobic. Too well, tall to ride this ride, yo. I don't know what that means. No, like, I'm with you. Like, they got rules there are shit. physical requirements to be on a roller coaster. Yes, 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 yes. yes. And yes. there are physical requirements to be housed in a prison. They're not yes. emotional requirements to be on a roller coaster. Which it's physical. That's right. The, you being on this, being too tall or too short, 
is dangerous for you and potentially other yeah. people on this ride. That's right. yeah. That's right. You being like that in this place is dangerous for you and potentially other people yes. in here. Having a Simple third leg, that. you yeah. can't do it. That's right. Under requirement, a third leg is just not happening. So it's a, a physical woman, thing. We're not saying that you're not a woman. You are a woman. But there's yeah. a physical requirement to ride this ride. Yeah, you exactly. identify as a woman. That's great. Fine. That third and leg is not allowed here. Yeah, if you if you if you've had the gender reassignment surgery, I can understand it. Peace. You know what I mean? I, yeah, and I yeah. I, if you I in there, that, you serious? If Yo, you serious. Were, the meat. It's like no. Yeah. Yeah. That's it. That's it. Because if if you've been reassigned, it's like you've been made the height for the ride. That's right. Yeah. Now you don't That's put right. the other people yeah. in a I position where they could, exactly. cut my knees off now yeah. to get on a ride. Yeah. All I see is a young child that's going to be born into some trauma that they didn't ask for. Oof. You know what I'm saying? Okay. But I, I would definitely, if I get into trouble, if I know it's just like that, uh, I'm definitely going to be a woman. Well, no isn't, isn't that what know, Caitlyn Jenner did? She's about to go to jail? Well, no. She like, she, you know, got in that car accident and killed somebody and then she was like, mm. I'm a woman. I can't drive. You know? <laughs> <laughs> Isn't that what she said? Isn't that what she did? I got distracted. Isn't that what she did? Yeah. That's what people really Because I'm a lady. That's what, people, that's what people really started believing. Yeah. Like, <laughs> like, she might be a woman, right? She <laughs> right just yeah. ran right into that car, not even looking, text a messaging, doing car? her fucking oh, makeup. Oh my God. Yeah, that's possible. Um, shit you won't care about. Uh, Brandon Bills, Danny Lee's brother, said he's not cooperating in the bowling alley fight. I respect uh, it. Yeah. I respect uh, it. I mean, he went there. You went there, you know. Yeah, I respect, respect. It. Do you, I respect Oh, it. talking about uh, DeBaby related things, do you think DeBaby uh, set that whole thing up himself? The the guy that he shot who was trespassing? No. no. You don't play with that. Technique. That's my hot take. Nah, why you think? Because he's not pressing charges on the guy. You don't need to. I busted that. He shot him. Yeah. He's, he's probably happy he didn't get charges pressed on him. <laughs> no, nah, because he came on his property. I'm with you, but yeah, you know, you never know nowadays, yeah. man. Oh, uh, like, I'm with you 100%. Yes, North Carolina, stay in your ground law. We from the Carolinas. Yeah. You step on our property, we can find you. You know what I'm saying? So I get it, but yo, he's got a lot of things. He's got a lot of people in Charlotte, especially law enforcement that doesn't like him. Mm. You know what I mean? And if they can find a reason to jam the baby up, they're going to jam the baby up. Mm. So, you know, the fact that he was able to do that, he called 911 or somebody called 911 and the police came and he handled everything the right way. Respect. Hey, respect. Mm -hmm. Only thing I would tell my good brother, the baby, my Carolina brother, is brother, have somebody come smudge the house with the finest of sage yes. in Palo Santo. Because oh, yes. <laughs> why does the baby keep attracting this kind of Yo, stuff? Yo, like, right. <laughs> Yes, not this, good. This is before the industry. Yeah. <laughs> like, like, why? Like, why does the baby keep attracting this kind of stuff? And by the way, the baby handles his business every single time. But I don't even want him to have to be in that position. Yeah. You're too successful to be handling your business all the time. And this, is, yeah. and this by the way, this has been before the success. Yeah. This goes back to the, you know, the Walmart incident. You oh. know what I mean? And another time there was a home invasion. And, you know, him being in Atlanta shooting a video and people want to fight him, like the bowling. I was like, yo, people, can we stop trying to baby? Yeah. I don't know. I, it, it, like, stop trying to baby. And by yeah. the way, and I can honestly say I have not seen him look for any problems. Mm. It's not like he's looking for these issues. It yeah. seems like these things come to him. This dude jumped when, when, his when fence. When you up there, when you up there, they just gonna come anyway. You ain't got to ask for shit. And yeah. in Charlotte, man, it's interesting in Charlotte because, like, I, I've I've always said, and I've I've always thought about this when it comes to the baby. When you're the only one from someplace, that's a difficult position to Ouch. be in. Mm. He's the he's the the only rapper that has ever blown from Charlotte. Right? Especially this much. Correct me if I'm wrong, but I and, and uh, e e even people that's watching this on in, on the internet, I'm, he's the only rapper from Charlotte, not North Carolina, the only rapper from Charlotte that has popped off. This big. The, this yeah, show. the level that he's popped off at, mm -hmm. and he still chooses to live in Charlotte in the 704. You yeah. know what I mean? So yeah. it's like it's a hell of a position to be in, man. Yeah. You know, yeah. like that's a hell of a position to be in. That's why, like you know, when you get to those positions, and that's just another reason. Like I'm always so inspired by what shows does it's like you bringing your people with you you mm. know what i'm saying yeah because you don't when you that only person hey man you make yourself a, a even bigger target, target man. you know people know where that compound at oh that's where the baby live let me hop this fence yeah. maybe mm. he's on tour maybe mm. he's not home you know what i'm saying boy, boy, mm. maybe i can run in here real quick and grab, grab something. something yeah and you know the baby said it. He's like, yo, I spared somebody's life today. Go on to live and heal up, my boy. <laughs> like, I I don't yeah, I don't think he um yeah. I don't think he I don't think that was a setup. 
Uh, I don't know. Yeah, it makes more sense now. <laughs> um, Kendrick Lamar announces his album date. I love it. I am a person who back in the day saw Kendrick Lamar in a bowling alley. He was at one of Angelique's bowling parties. And I walked up to Kendrick Lamar and I said, hey, Kendrick. I didn't say, hey, Kendrick. I walked up to him and I said, hey, my brother, can you give me a size 11 and a half? Oh, shit. Because I thought he worked <laughs> at the bowling alley. And, you know, Kendrick first came up in an era where a lot of us forgot why we kind of fell in love with hip hop. So we were looking for these packages. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Like you had to look a certain way. Yeah. You had to move a certain way to be considered a superstar. And I, I used to tell Top and all of them, like, I don't think he's a star, man. He can rap his ass off. I remember Debbie Dev. Debbie Dev was the first person to let me hear Kendrick. I think it was, uh, wasn't Section 80. It was something before Section 80. And I'm like, I don't get it. And Section 80 came out, and I was like, okay, I fuck with this. And I really fucked with it because of that cartoons and serial record because I, I loved Gunplay. I still love Gunplay. And I just, I'm like, I don't think he's just, I don't think he's a star. I don't think he's a star. He can rap, but I don't think he's a star. Clearly, I was wrong. That's an understatement. Mm. <laughs> right? And now, there's not an album this year more than Kendrick and Rhapsody that I'm anticipating more. Wow. I, I'm anticipating Kendrick and Rhapsody's album. And I think Kendrick, Forget just rap as an artist, period. Nobody does it better than Kendrick. Because think about all of these other artists that have been out here. A lot of them have shot their loads. Yeah. We know what they expect. You know what I'm saying? We've gotten what we've gotten. It's been cool. Everybody's been having some great runs, some great waves. Kendrick ain't been around in six years. And he's an artist that we don't know what he's coming with. Because yeah. none of his projects have been the same. Good Section 80 didn't sound like Good Kid Mad City. Good Kid Mad City didn't sound like Pimp Butterfly. Pimp Butterfly didn't sound like Damn. We don't know what Kendrick's coming with. We just know it's going to be some dope shit. His last mm-hmm. shit was six years ago? Six years ago. Uh, and he takes his time. Who, st- who takes, takes their time, time in 2022? I know. I know. On anything? I know. Michael I love Jackson. It. Huh? You got to earn that. No, Michael did take his time. That's what I'm saying. Like, yeah, that, those are the, yeah. that, that, but that, that's the era yeah. I come from. I come from the era where you put out some prolific shit. You waited and you crafted some really dope ass is prolific he online shit like to come that? back is again. He on Instagram not at all. Like, you see the fuck out the way. That's not how they, at all. That's how you, that's how you get so much more value. Not at out all. the way. You say what? People don't know you have the daughter. They don't know nothing that's about why he not watered down. And that's, mm. that's how you water yourself down. You that's keep right. putting all your shit out there. That's everything right. you got going on, that's whack right. as hell. Mm. That's right. He, he is the anti everything this era is about. Mm. I'm not on social media like that. I only pop out when I got something to do. Yes. And I'm going to give you this good music every few years. Mm. I love it. Yeah. And I can't wait to hear if what he I does. stay man. high like that. Can't wait to hear what he does. Uh, let's pay some bills and come back and do some Asking Idiots. Let's do it. Hey, let's talk about Freshly for a second, man. Um, How hard is it to find a fast, pre-cooked meal that isn't frozen, tasteless, or highly processed? Well... That's why Freshly is here. Food that's fast doesn't have to be fast food. Freshly offers quality meals without the hard work. Their meals are designed by nutritionists, cooked by chefs, then delivered fresh. Other meal deliveries need to be prepped and cooked, but Freshly is ready to eat in three minutes, okay? It doesn't matter if you're a bachelor. doesn't matter if you're a husband, you know, boyfriend who wants to put some fresh food on the table for the family. You know, you want to do a little something for your girl. Trust me. Freshly is the move. Get delicious, chef-made, nutrient-packed meals delivered straight to your door. No cooking required. Fresh and never frozen, ready to eat, and you can enjoy it in just three minutes. Use the Freshly website or app to find meals that fit your lifestyle with plans that work for your dietary needs, preferences, taste, and family size. Choose from over 50 nutritionist-designed entrees like their classic steak peppercorn, multi-serve sides like their masterful mac and cheese, or their new line of plant-based meals. Skip the grocery store and dirty dishes. Your meals arrive cooked and fresh every week. New meals are added weekly, so you're never stuck eating the same thing over and over. So stop stressing about dinner. Right now, Freshly is offering our listeners $125 off your first five orders when you go to Freshly.com slash idiots. That's $125 off at Freshly.com slash idiots. In today's episode... It's also brought to you by Squarespace. Squarespace is the all-in-one platform for building your brand and growing your business online. Stand out with a beautiful website, engage with your audience, and sell anything, your products, content, 
you create and even your time. Squarespace makes it easy for creators to monetize their content and expertise in a way that fits their brand. With member areas, you can unlock a new revenue stream for your business and free up time in your schedule by selling access to gated content like videos, online courses, and newsletters. Create pro-level videos effortlessly. The Squarespace Video Studio app helps you make and share engaging videos to tell your story, grow your audience, and drive sales. Stand out in any inbox with Squarespace email campaigns. Collect email subscribers and convert them into loyal customers. That's very smart. That's something that Kevin Hart did, you know, when he was trying to get hot again in the stand-up world. Start with an email template and customize it by applying your brand ingredients like site colors and logo. Built-in analytics measure the impact of every sin. Use those analytics and insights to grow your business. Learn where your site visits and sales are coming from and analyze which channels are most effective. Improve your website and build a marketing strategy based on your top keywords and most popular products and content. Head to squarespace.com slash idiot for a free trial. And when you're ready to launch, use offer code idiot to save 10% off your first purchase of a website or domain. That's squarespace.com slash idiot with offer code idiot for 10% off your first purchase. Now let's get back to the show. All right, we back. Let's do some Asking Idiots, Taylor. Um, salute to Future GQ Magazine. said Future is the best rapper alive. I mean, I don't, I'm, that, that, that statement doesn't bother me in no way, shape, or form. If people act like Future... If that's not a debate, I mean, and I'm not talking about lyrics. I'm just talking about impact. Like, yeah. Future's pr- probably the most influential artist of the past decade. Yeah. And there's not a metric you can look at <laughs> that doesn't back that up. He's the number five. You know, Future's the number five most streamed artist of any genre of yeah. music over the past decade. Completely believe it. Like, come on, wow. man. Yeah. Like, let's see. What we got, Taylor? What we got? Where was that question? That look like horrible decisions asking idiots. X, go back, scroll back up. X O Baddest says best moment with Wheezy. Also, how did you meet Alex? That must be for you, Shows. What's your best moment with Wheezy and how did you meet Alex? My best moment with Wheezy. Oh, we did an accent off on the street once. That was really fun. An accent off? Yeah, she's good at accents and we were just doing like accents back and forth to one another. And uh, yeah, it was just really fun. And, uh, and then I met Alex, Alex reached out to me, Alex, Alex has, uh, Alex's name is the same as a friend of mine that used to do comedy's name. Alex Media? Alex uh, Anderson. Oh, got you, got you, got you, got you. And Alex A. so he DM'd me and I thought it was this other guy. <laughs> so I was talking to him for like a minute thinking it was this other guy and he was like cooking things up. And then, you know, uh, I think eventually I realized it was a different guy, but I liked that he was kind of after it and hungry. Yeah. And then uh, we asked him if he wanted to help us out on Brilliant Idiots. But yeah, it was just like by complete happenstance that he, he has the same name as a buddy of mine that used to do comedy. What made you reach out to shows, Alex? Um, I like these type of origins. Yeah, I was kind of just reaching out to a lot of people that were in hip hop and comedy. I reached out to you, never answered it. Um, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, but also I was working with uh, Cypher Sounds at the time as well. And then um, Andrew was on a podcast with Sife, and that's how. Oh, shouts to Sife and uh, Mike Cash, by the way, for doing the medley of the uh, New York, New York, and the Empire State of Mind, and doing fire the on the oh, intro. Yeah. No, the end, what? the uh, with the choir. Sife sound did that. Sife the choir. Uh, well, well, he organized him and Mike Cash organized the song to oh. to blend the both of them together. But yeah, did you guys like the the choir surprise at the end? Fire. And Mateo Lane singing Fire. New York. Yeah. Mateo, you talk guy, Mateo, man, Mateo. Yeah, got love the best Mateo, falsetto man. in the business. Yeah, man. yeah, he's great. Mateo got the best falsetto in the business. I don't know, man. I get, I'm not gonna lie, I get emotional when I see guy cold, girl cold people, man. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'm telling you, yeah. man. That shit is just like, I don't know. That shit was just a dope ass tribe that, that produced great. some really dope motherfucking yeah, talent, it man. Was great. It was living great. color. It, yeah. it really was. <laughs> yeah, like, and nobody hey. giving us no credit because it was on MTV too. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Somebody yeah. got to put that shit together and show it. Like, if yeah. you put it together and show it, you'll be like, whoa. Show the tree. Like, you show gotta what show the all tree. these people yes, are doing man. now. Yeah. You got to do it. You got Aquafina and Nicole Byer, Pete Davidson, Schultz, Duval, myself. You. You know what I mean? Like, yes, there's some dope ass people that came from fucking. Um, Girl Cold, Guy Cold, man. Yeah, man. Um, what else we got, Taylor? Scroll down. Asking idiots. What is the freakiest thing your girl or someone... I'm not, yes, that's wild, Joe. That's wild. Oh, there, 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 there you go. There you go. I like this. Gates is already a flex. This is from Bust Down. Gates is already a flex. Who else would you have loved to attend that show dead or alive? 
Oh, fuck. Dead or dead people as well? <laughs> I mean, I'd love to entertain Jesus, Muhammad. There you go. You know, like... Uh, Jesus probably be in it crying. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> he, got, he got he got some more with that rod. <laughs> <laughs> or hit with the rod. Wow, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh yeah, I mean like obviously, you know, Abraham Lincoln and Martin Luther King and uh you know, fucking I don't know, George Washington, just profound people in life. That would be really cool. thought about your Martin joke. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. Or he was like, "Yo, my feet was fucking." You might have yelled at me. You might have like, "Fuck yeah!" Yo, if Martin Luther King Jr. yells, "Preach at you!" You saying some shit? Preach, yo. My body was fucked up. You know they had to have gout for the food that they was eating. For sure, out. Oh man, no, that made a lot of sense though. T L L seven. Says wax, who gave you the toughest fight? Oh, I know the answer to this. Ooh. Me too. Brother. Um, the child support. <laughs> <laughs> hey, no, that that is not fight. a tough fight. That shit kicking your ass. That shit beat the shit. <laughs> 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 we ain't saying who went. beat your ass. We say who gave you the toughest fight. Oh fuck. <laughs> um woman. I mean, any woman nah. that I, I dealt with that. Any uh, dude that gave you a tough fight. A dude that gave me a tough fight, um, you sitting here front. He gonna try your ass too. Uh, probably just my brother. Yeah, you, you may know just. You better give like his fucking. I says all my. I mean, we all. We he's scared all to say Ike name. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you. You scared to even say Ike name. No, you, saying, you, you, you don't even want to go I'm down grow, that road. I, as I'm growing up, like I got older brothers stuff. We always just kicking each other asses. You know what I'm saying? Just, you don't even want to say Ike name. That's big brother that, that's, right there. Well, that, that's the tough. <laughs> how how that much I older have. is he than you? Uh, thirteen years. Oh. I'm, the, I'm, number, I'm number 10 or 12 kids. God. Same motherfucker. Yeah, but 13 years. Like, when did you fight? How old were you and how old was he? Um, I got my mom house rated at... You was in your 20s? 16. Oh, you was that seven, young? No, no, no. I was probably seven. My mom got my... I was still in high school. So he's 30. You're 17. Yeah. Yeah, you're getting your ass kicked. He's all right. You died? No. Yeah, that's I said, the toughest fight. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. The toughest fight. You were 17, bro. I, I, I was different. I was always different. I pull so, up like, so how old are you he, now? Yeah. Nah, that's what I'm saying. I putting always, on his yeah. How old are you now? Yeah. <laughs> oh, he's a Glover, too. He's, he's a Glover? A Glover. He's a Glover? <laughs> Our name should have been Glover. <laughs> he's Glover, bro. Salute to Ike, man. Um, Bye, see you, Art. What do we got? Ooh, what is something you used to believe? How and why has it changed? Mm. <laughs> the G and Envy conversation. I'm thinking all these girls is nothing. Until she got on the fucking ground and started shaking. <laughs> <It's> all... <laughs> I don't believe that shit, though. I, I'm not the man I used to be. I thought I was. What about you, Shows? What is something you used to believe? How and why has it changed? Something I used to believe. And how and why has it changed? God, that's, I don't know. I feel like I, I want to give like a more thoughtful answer. Something I used to believe. Uh, I, I used to be able, I used to like believe news. That's kind yeah. of frustrating. CNN. Yeah. And uh, now I have a, a lot more skepticism when it comes to any news story about absolutely anything in the world. Fox, come on. Yeah. If Fox, CNN, like all of all them, of like them. literally every single one, I'm like, all what of is them. the truth? the real one you think? I don't think there is one. I don't man. think there is one. I'm not even lying. I don't think there is one. Clickbaiters, huh? I yeah. think there could be if people got back to actual news. Yeah. You know what I mean? Just give me the fucking news. Just give bro. me the facts, bro. That's it. Just yeah. give me the facts as you know them. Yeah. I don't want your opinion. Yeah. I don't want no tone in your voice. I don't yeah. want no contempt in your voice. I don't want none of that. It's not what happened. Give me the news. You right, know, so, so the weather that's is basically it. the only thing that we could really be okay with. The weather. Hell no. Is that the weather. Is so unpredictable. Is the weather. <laughs> no, man. Every time it says rain, it rains. That's true. Not snow, though. Yeah, they yeah. fucking love the snow. Mine is kind of the same. Um, I used to really believe that people on social media were actually outraged about the things that they were outraged about. Oh, uh, yeah, now you know. It's and I actually <laughs> thought that they cared about yeah. these issues that they really nope. acted like they the cared instigators. about. There's a bunch of instigators. Nope. That's right. And nothing's consistent. Because it's like the same, this will happen over here and nobody will say nothing, but it'll, the same thing will happen to this person and everybody acts so fucking angry and so upset. Yeah, yeah. I want to see so that fight. That fight is better. I want to see them. Yeah, that's fight. what yeah, I'm saying. Yeah, yeah. So it's just like, I, I, yeah, that's something I used to believe and it changed because nobody's consistent. Yeah. So I used to believe that people on the internet were actually outraged about the things that they were outraged about 
and it changed because it's not consistent. And it's, I know for a fact it's not the real world. Yeah. That shit does not exist in the real world. Yeah. None of these, con- 95% of conversations you see online do not exist in the real world. Yeah. Unless they're to do with entertainment. The entertainment conversations always happen in the real world. Yeah, yeah, the, yeah. The, 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 the shit about race and gender and identity and all that, that shit, we, we not discussing that? Nope. Yeah, nah. No, that's, yeah. at least not in my circles. Well, unless you did some dumb we shit. We are? Like what, what, Taylor? Tell me. Boom, boom. Oh, shit. What? 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 You took two steps. Taylor, you just took two steps. This guy's crazy, yo, Taylor. This guy's absolutely crazy. You know this guy's crazy, yo? Come on, man. Can't drink my water. Let me at least warm me. Yeah. Oh, my God. As always, if you listen to this podcast, Hey. Listen, that's yeah. <laughs> I didn't do nothing, Taylor. I love Whoa. you, Taylor. Taylor, you know I love you, Taylor. Don't be like you that. You hit an instigator? Woo! I don't want Taylor to, ready Alex to Will Smith all. us. Oh, Alex ain't cut shit. Taylor ready to give us that, <laughs> that West Philly five finger <laughs> discount across the face. Don't bring <laughs> us into this. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> you said that. Form. As always, if you listen to this podcast, you think we're smart, you think we're intelligent, you think we're brilliant, you're absolutely right. But if you listen to this podcast and you think we're just a couple of idiots who don't know shit, you're right too. It's the Brilliant Idiots Podcast. Thank you for listening. <laughs>